Hello everyone. This is your instructor Mimi Hume and I want to talk to you about essay one. We have the outline coming up in a couple weeks for that essay and it's I think on the 18th and then another draft due of it and then the final draft is due the uh, October 2nd. So let me talk to you about it a little bit. I realize that we can all read however I just want to make sure that we understand what what is expected. So we're talking about stereotypes in movie and TV. And there's a definition of stereotype here, which is an often unfair and untrue belief that people have about things or countries or people or animals or whatever. However, we're gonna focus on people for this assignment. All right, so you're gonna write an essay in which you argue how film or television, the show or the movie, perpetuates or challenges stereotypes about a specific group of people, their age, their lifestyle, their income level, their religion, their disability, gender and sexuality, mental illness, race, nation, culture, et cetera, there's more. I've also included in the, next to the, underneath the, the assignment itself, under assignments, just a list of uh, stereotypes and not all of them are people, but you can get some ideas from that list, I think. All right, you need to be writing in third person. That means you're going to not say, I think these people are like this and I think these people are like that. You're going to say the, uh, the character in the movie perpetuates the idea that um, all people in this race are a certain way, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. That's third person. We don't wanna say you think, you do, you, you always agree that, or any use, no second person, you only, and no first person, I think, I believe, I don't like. In my experience, none of that third person, you're looking at um, the, the, the uh, characters without talking about yourself. So all right, it says you're gonna choose three examples of one stereotype about that group reflected or challenged in one film or TV show to support your argument. So choose something that you know, you've seen the movie more than once, or you've watched the television show a lot, so you're acquainted with it, and so you're you're not you know you're not kind of grasping for straws because you're not sure what if if you can support your idea. Obviously, when it says choose three examples of one stereotype, it's kind of setting you up for a five paragraph essay because you're going to have your introduction, your thesis at the end of the introduction, three different examples of that one stereotype from the movie or from the TV show. All right, um, it says you're, as I mentioned before, your personal experience with the stereotype may not be included in the essay. So no, I think that this is in wrong because of none of that. You're just looking at the characters and it's showing how they either perpetuate the stereotype, that means they support or continue the stereotype and make us still believe that stereotype, or they do not, they, it, it, they de it deviates the person, the people deviate from that stereotype and get us to believe something else, hopefully minimize bias and prejudice and et cetera. All right. You need to do some broad reading in the library databases about your stereotype. How is a stereotype often applied in our culture? What are some of the ways the stereotype causes harm, et cetera, et cetera. All right, then it, the assignment shows you the introduction. Um, let's see, let's see. It says the intro, introduction is critical to the development of your essay. So don't write in generalizations like, stereotypes have been going on for hundreds of years or stereotypes are common and have been common since the medieval times or something like that. Get right to your, the name of your film, the, the, the characters you're discussing and then, and then uh, lead up to your thesis, which is the point or argument you're making. All right. In the introduction, provide a summary of the basic premise of the TV show or movie in case I haven't seen it or other people haven't seen it so that we'll be able to understand what you're referring to. All right, let's see, okay. Here are some example thesis statements. These would, this would come at the end of your introduction after we know what your even, what your, what your subject matter is. So here's one, let's see. Marvel's Black Panther challenges the stereotype that Africans are uncivilized savages by showcasing characters who have possessed impressive future, futuristic forms of technology, above average intelligence and skillful diplomacy. 
that's called a closed thesis statement because it the, the list of the ideas that are going to be discussed in the essay are in the thesis statement. So the first thing that you would talk about in the first body paragraph is uh, uncivilized savages. The second thing you would talk about is uh, above average intelligence. And the third one you would talk about is skillful diplomacy. So you, if you have a list in your closed thesis statement, which um, that you need to follow the um, order of that list or we'll get confused bored, or you may go off topic. <clears throat> okay. Here's another one. The Joker perpetuates stereotypes about people with mental illness as dangerous, unpredictable, and unproductive outcasts from society. All right. Um, here's another one. The good doctor disregards the complex spectru spectrum that is autism, instead portrays the main character as stereotypically autistic, a socially awkward white male genius with sav savant superpowers. That is a open thesis statement. That means that there's not a list, but you're still gonna have three things from the movie that you use to prove that point. It doesn't mean your, your, your essay is gonna be disorganized. It just doesn't show the organization of the paragraphs within the thesis statement. Okay, so let's say I'm going to write about, and I'm not telling you that this is the best idea, but let's say I'm writing about the Wizard of Oz and I say, um, uh, the Wizard of Oz perpetuates the, or let's see, it, it's, I know it doesn't, it, it refutes the idea that people from Kansas are, what did I write down? Uh, colorless, angry, and unimaginative. So I'd probably look at the Wizard of Oz and talk about, you know, the, the way the weather and the way the people and everything is in black and white, how, the, how it's, uh, the, their temperament is um, mirrored by the, the way that the color of the movie is and that <laughs> um, they're unimaginative. And then I refute that by showing how Dorothy, even though she leaves Kansas, is a person from Kansas and turns into this colorful, imaginative, wonderful girl who has, a, has a, an adventure. So I don't know, that wasn't the best example, but it, it, was, it was an example. All right, so as I said, you're writing in third person. Um, 750 to 1,000 words in length, don't, don't write over that long. Just, you're pretty much writing a five paragraph essay, five or six paragraph essay. So that should come in, you, you can write 750 words to 1,000 words in a five paragraph. Each paragraph should have about five to 12 sentences in it. You don't want your paragraphs to be undeveloped. Each paragraph should have one idea that it's its topic sentence that's supporting the, the overall argument you're making, which is the thesis idea. All right, you have to use two academic sources from the library databases. Click on this link because it will show you exactly how to go through the library databases and look, look through things. It gives you a very detailed, tutorial of how to do that. Also for the work citation page, there's a very good, I believe that one's a PowerPoint. Yeah, it might both be. That one's a PowerPoint, yeah. So that one tells you exactly how to format. If you cannot find the information you're looking for, don't panic and don't wait till the day before the essay is due. Make sure that you contact me or contact the li a librarian. Librarians can be reached by uh, there's there's a place here that tells you how you can reach them. However, but you can all you can email them, you can text them, you can call them, and they are there. They will find you the information that you're looking for. Um, I use that librarians all the time. They they're very friendly and they will help you. They'll give you a list of possibilities if you just can't seem to find what you're looking for. However, there's a lot of information out there, and I'm pretty sure you will be able to find. Them. All right, let's see. Um, the essay will be graded according to the essay grading rubric. All right, so, and this is how you submit it in a doc, in doc or docx format uh, by 1159 on the due date. So if you have any questions about this essay or about, let's say you have your movie and your idea and you wanna email me and say, hey, do you think this would be a good thing to write about? Or which, you know, could I write about this? Or ask me a question. Um, Etc. Etc. Please, please email me, 
and I hope that made things a little more clear. You're going to either agree that the stereotype is continued by the movie and that it makes it, it, the stereotype is even worse because of the movie or the TV show, or the stereotype is, it's showing, showing that we shouldn't stereotype against whoever these people are. All right, thank you very much. Let me know if you have any questions.